Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're having a good day as always. My name is Michael and thank you for joining me. So today I want to talk about some words of wisdom that I heard um, a few years ago back from an old credit union member that I was helping out with refinancing a loan. Uh, just in the midst of conversation, he dropped this bomb on me that said a penny saved is actually better than a penny earned because you don't have to pay taxes on it. And I pretty much just laughed it off and agreed with him. Uh, but the more and more you think about it, it actually does hold true that in certain regards, saving money is actually better than earning more money. And I, I think we should try and do both at the same time. But if you ask me, it's actually a lot easier to find out where you can save money rather than doing everything you can to earn more money, right? One actually involves a lot less work. And that's what I want to talk about today. Uh, the benefits of saving more money, where you can do that, and how it actually translates to, to more money in the long run than just earning more money. So, so to start things off, let's talk about one of the things that I've harped on many, many times before, and that is refinancing your debt, right? Specifically to get a lower interest rate, not a lower payment. Okay, uh, guys, if you got a car loan or credit card debt or personal loan, whatever it may be, if you got that stuff, let's say a few years ago when your credit score was, let's say right here, and now your credit score is up here, we'll take advantage of that by refinancing it to a lower rate. Again, not a lower payment. The goal is to save money, um, and you're actually gonna do that in the long run by paying less interest, not necessarily less monthly payments. So refinance, if you can, really, it doesn't cost you anything to refinance, especially those three things that I just talked about. As long as your credit score has improved since you originally got those loans, it stands to reason you should at least find somebody who can help out with that. Um, and I've got plenty of other videos on that stuff if you want to check those out. But honestly, like if you're looking at a car loan or a mortgage or a credit card, like just by refinancing, you can potentially save tens of thousands of dollars in interest in the long run. Probably not tens of thousands for car loans or credit cards, but still probably in the thousands of dollars of range, right? And the good thing is, like I said, on none of that stuff do you have to pay any taxes on it. If I earned $10,000 extra this year, I have to pay taxes on that $10,000. So that just kind of ties in to what he was talking about, how a penny saved is actually better than a penny earned, right? And this cares over to many more things than just loans, right? Let's look at our monthly expenses. Like recently, me and my girlfriend actually canceled our uh, cell phone provider and we went to a uh, lower cost option, so we saved some money there. Same thing recently with internet, right? And I'm gonna talk about those things here in a bit, but if you can do that with insurance, you can do that with your utilities, if you can do that with your subscriptions, right? Maybe you're like me and my girlfriend. And I think it's a little bit ridiculous that we have Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime, and Hulu, which I know she only has Hulu for a certain show and then she'll cancel it. But still, that's three subscriptions when arguably I don't even need one of them, right? Or maybe I should just find out which one is the best one, which one do I use most often, and cancel the other two and save, again, probably about $300 a year. Um, so either way, right, it's really, really simple stuff but it can translate into big savings in the long run, right? Look at all the things that you pay for on a monthly basis and make sure that they're set up as efficiently as they can, right? If there's a better option out there, do it, take advantage of it. Even if it only saves you 20 bucks a month, at the end of the year, right, if you do that across multiple things, right, it will save you a decent amount of money. Even any money is better than no savings at all. Right, and so you can take it to the next level, right? You can say, okay, well, I've set up my loans and my debts. They're as low of an interest rate as I can get them. I've also made my monthly utilities and bills as efficient as possible. I'm with the lowest cost providers I can get, right? Then you can start going down into where else can I save money, right? Maybe it's on my groceries. Maybe it's my dining out. Maybe it's on a whole host of different things, right? Maybe you spend money on a hobby every single month that you can afford to cut down a little bit. All of this just really simply translates into savings. And while that's not some crazy revelation, it should be a revelation that that savings in a certain way saves you more than if you were to just earn extra money, right? And I think that's what a lot of us tend to focus on. Um, and not to say that that's misguided, trying to earn more money, right? But there's two sides to that coin, right? There's earning more money, which inherently is not a bad thing at all, but there's also saving more, right? And I don't think we pay enough attention to that side of it. And so that's what I wanted to talk about today. Personally, I think I've got a few things that I need to cut down, uh, see if I can make a little bit more efficient, save some money. I'm actually gonna be making a few videos on that here coming up. So 
that's what I wanted to talk about today. As always, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Uh, if you have anything that you would definitely recommend, hey, I've had a lot of success trimming this bill or this company has really helped me out lower this utility, put it in the comment section down below. I'm happy to get interested into reviewing new products or new companies that help people. But either way, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. You know what to do. Also, if you're interested in supporting the channel directly, there's always links down below. Uh, one for Patreon support and the other one is really Really simple through Amazon if you are purchasing anything at all use the link down below it gives the channel commission without charging you anything extra uh, and for those that have been doing that thank you very much I greatly appreciate it but thanks for watching guys take care I'll see you next time hey guys I know I just said this stuff but let me say it again thank you so much for watching this video I appreciate all the support that you guys give me and to support you here's two more videos that I've made in the past in case you haven't seen them don't forget to share these with your friends and family so we can help all the people achieve their financial goals. Likewise, if there's anything that you would want to see made that you haven't seen thus far, definitely don't hesitate to let me know. But thanks again, take care, and have a good day.